people come from all over the world and they they just can't believe when they round the corner up here on a busy Wednesday or Thursday and see 10 to 13 of them in a row. You know, it's quite a sight to see. It's really the crossroads of the world. You can go from Anchorage to Frankfurt, Germany, in typically eight to nine hours. And in Asia, you can be in Hong Kong, or you can be in Tokyo, or you can be in Seoul in eight to nine hours using Anchorage as an international gateway. It's the perfect spot for cargo operations to come in. The two aircraft arrive. They're doing a cargo transload. We have just a specific amount of time to make sure that the cargo gets on the other aircraft and we get it out of here. It's uh, not uncommon for us to handle as many as 46 airplanes in a day, and it is one of the busiest cargo airports in the world. I think if you were to narrow it down to, you know, what is probably the biggest commodity, well, I would have to say it's probably consumer electronics, yeah, especially the iPhones, the iPads, things of that nature that are coming out of the factories in Asia into North America to hit the retail stores. That's, that's a big item. I've kind of grown up in aviation. I had an uncle that uh, had a helicopter and flying business called Kenai uh, Air Alaska down in Kenai. He started way back in the early 50s hauling drill bits and I was a gas boy. So I filled up Super Cubs and helicopters and uh, you know, kind of grew up around the business. We've basically seen it all. Uh, cars coming from BMW, from Mercedes-Benz, and these are basically top secret. They are hush-hush. They are not even on the market. And they come in and then they're, they're tested in different parts of Alaska for cold weather testing. We've hauled uh, large pieces of um, oil industry equipment. We've seen sharks, we've seen whales, we've seen everything. <laughs> with the kitchen sink. There are so many international carriers that serve Anchorage, giving you a whole different perspective on what lies just eight or nine hours away. And in many cases, there is a, a lot of cross-cultural exchange in Anchorage that allows all of us to experience other parts of the world. And I think because of that, we grow richer as a community. And uh, it definitely has a positive impact on me, and we're in a unique advantage that we get to see this.